your presence in this space is no mere coincidence. It's a meticulous and intentional connection designed to deliver the profound message of Apostle Joshua Selman directly to you. This message goes beyond being a mere source of blessings. It's a dynamic force, sparking the flame of greatness within you. Open your heart expansively and permit your mind to fully immerse in the opulence of this transformative diet. Before we venture further, I extend a sincere invitation for you to actively participate in this meaningful content. Engage by expressing your gratitude. Extend a virtual thumbs up to the video, share its wisdom with those in your circles who could find it beneficial, and become a subscriber to our channel for an uninterrupted flow of enlightening content. Your support is not only acknowledged, but also holds a pivotal role in our continual endeavor to disseminate these profound messages. As you tune in to absorb this distinctive message, may blessings cascade into every facet of your life. Embrace the profound wisdom disseminated by Apostle Joshua Selman, and let this encounter act as a guiding celestial body, instigating positive transformation and radiance on your life's journey. Your receptiveness to embrace this message signifies a pivotal stride toward a life that is not only enriched but profoundly purposeful. Ladies and gentlemen, you know you are valuable by who is willing to follow you. If nobody is following you, is a report card that you are not valuable or valuable enough. As a man of God, as an individual who is following you and willing to pay for what you can do. Are we together? It is amazing, ladies and gentlemen, that when you become valuable, it does not guarantee that you'll be wealthy. No. But that value already puts you in a position of advantage because now you are ready to move to the next level called productivity. Productivity. The law of value talks about discovering the solutions that you can bring to people, but productivity is the art of packaging your value and turning it into products and services. Listen carefully. Productivity is different from value. Value talks of discovery. Productivity talks of packaging, refining your value. There are many people who can sew, many people who can sing, but nobody can pay them for it. The reason is because it's still at the realm of value. They are not yet productive. Are we together? Productivity. 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 And then, the next law that I'll talk about very quickly is the law of excellence. This one is a very serious one. This is what separates men from boys in the world of value and so on and so forth. Excellence. This is very important. Most believers are poor and mediocre because they are not excellent. There are brands that when I mention, what is the difference between some construction brand that you know and you respect and an ordinary mason who is willing to build your house? If you have the money to, even if it's your brother that is the architect and the mason, you will most likely not invite him. Why? You would rather invite some construction company that has some reputation. What are you inviting? You are inviting their brand, a testimony of consistency, integrity, and excellence. Please look up. Everybody buys excellence, not just things. Excellence. Excellence. Most church people are not excellent. I've had the honor of traveling a bit. And I've been to many places and many facilities. Believers are not excellent people. You can almost know a facility that was built by a believer. Because you will see it laced with carelessness. You are using a bathroom. The water is coming back to you as you are bathing. Believers for you. Say amen. You look at a sink and open the, the part, you open cold water and it's hot water that is coming on you because the, the labelings were wrong. They put the blue one for, for cold water I mean, and interchange them. So you just burn your, just because you want to wash your hands and somebody does not care. Are we together? 
believers are not excellent give believers contract and most of i know things are changing but i need to challenge most believers get angry oh why church people are not doing this i can do this thing that people are doing and you give them something and watch the way they disappoint you and then they say are you not a christian you should not be angry you should this the fruit of the spirit is love joy and, and so on and so forth please listen to what i'm telling you and take it seriously you enter a restaurant that is owned by some unbeliever somewhere there is excellence there is courtesy all that greeting you will pay for it but at least they will charge you and you will pay for it there's excellence but not christians you step in and the person to greet you is there yawning folding his arm gossiping and while you come hey okay you can see that i'm coming they will now go and on the generator that will take time you are already sweating and angry and the person who is coming to serve you is frowning as if this face is familiar so what say excellence please shout it say excellence there are there are many people in abuja here some of you are my dear people listening to me it's not that you cannot you you have something to do but you are not excellent you cannot dress kings someone cannot give you something to fix you spoil it again and bring it back excellence is the determination to surpass ordinary standards everybody who has the money to give you is looking for a standard if you can meet that standard you will enter your financial sabbath believe me there are people in nigeria who only sew for kings fashion people and it's not because they were that way they were so exceptional all it takes is for one great person and that one is god's assignment to bring the great people oh this is what you make wow this is exceptional let me tell all my friends that i found somebody and in one moment they will not even ask you how much do you sow they will just give you five million and say so whatever you can sow let's test you that is testing five million you who if they had asked you you would have said it's forty thousand per one now they gave you they, because they saw your excellence and they believed they just jump started your mindset and from that level you will not do any sewing less than one million again because excellence brought you here are we together now believers please listen excellence tomorrow go back to you whatever it is you are doing clean the place make it healthy make it exceptional you are a business person don't let, let me give you something if a, a big idea if God gives you an opportunity to do something you don't have capacity to do don't preserve the name and let someone else take the profit you did not lose did you hear what I said preserve the name the track record and give somebody who would do an excellent job a good name is better than profits if they give you a contract of hundred million and honestly it's just favor prophecy came and favor now instead of damaging that thing you lose the profit and you lose your name bring someone who is competent even if the person is greedy and wants to take everything you preserve the name the name will recycle the opportunity again hallelujah i made up my mind as a man of god now listen let me tell you this i do ministry with the heart of a shepherd but I have the brain of a businessman. A businessman not because I'm all out for money, no. Everywhere I go to minister, I see what I'm serving the body of Christ as the gospel, but I also see it as a product. Everything I say is going to, be a, is going to affect and influence the life of millions of people. And so I do my homework. I make sure that if I ever stand on this stage or any stage, I'm communicating as much as I can intelligent life applicable principles that is the reason why i listen to my own messages every message i listen to be blessed by what god has said through me but i also listen to learn and see areas of improvement ah these statistics that i brought is now outdated correct it next time you're on stage you correct it are we together yes there are times that I preach and people listen to me and with, with every sense of love, sometimes they send us, ah, apostle, you spell this this way or you pronounce this this way. This is how it is. Can you improve yourself? I don't say, who, who is this stupid person? Mm -mm. 
I'm passionate about excellence and I'm not ashamed of my limitations. I learn, improve myself, and I come back to correct myself a more superior version. Say excellence. Receive the grace to hate mediocrity. Are we together? There are many believers who say, I can cook. Cook what? For who? Because be mindful of the person whose money you want to collect. You want his money, but does the person like you? Does he want your service? Are we together now? I am confident that the sermons you've immersed yourself in have served as a wellspring of blessings, uplifting your life and instilling a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a warm invitation for you to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. By activating the notification bell, you ensure that you remain connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos. Your subscription signifies more than a mere click. It represents a pledge to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aspires to be a haven for both spiritual seekers and devoted believers. We ardently believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our objective is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and allow the radiant light of divine wisdom to illuminate your path. We express our gratitude for your integral role in this uplifting journey, and we pray that God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. Stay connected with us on all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and feel free to explore our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God abundantly bless you.